hello on Europeans, it's good, Monty. Good evening and it's Rosé. How are we doing tonight? Semi two, how exciting. Absolutely, we're in the press centre, it's just before the um, second semi-final, so we're just going to give you a quick rundown. Uh, first off is Serbia, I think that's a qualifier, it's looking very good, Jelico is a big star uh, in um, his area, uh, he's going to get lots of uh, votes I think. Uh, Fyrom, Macedonia next, and I do like this song, I love her, she looks amazing, I think it's staged very well. I think, for me, it's just going to miss out though, unfortunately, I'm, I'm unhappy to say that. Netherlands is next, and you will Ooh. see that I am supporting Joan tonight in my t-shirt. I love this, it's a very simple song, I really hope it gets through. If she gets, if she gets it through tonight, I think it's the biggest hurdle. If she gets a good draw in the final, I think she could do very well, she could be a dark horse. Crossing my fingers if they do that in the Netherlands and Germany they hold their thumbs. I'm doing whatever they do in the Netherlands for luck. <laughs> <laughs> Malta next and the lovely David Schwimmer from Malta, sorry Kurt Kaleja from uh, Kaleja even from Malta. Um, I've got this as my 10th spot in the final. I think he's just going to sneak it. I think it's really come on leaps and bounds the performance from the Maltese national final and I think he might just have enough to cross the line and I hope he does. Uh, Belarus, uh, I think the singer's better than the song, certainly better looking. Um, I don't really see Belarus going through, but let's see what we get tonight. I think it's a borderline qualification. Portugal next. Oh, how we want to go to Lisbon for Eurovision. Sadly not this year, but we love Philippa Souza from Portugal. We wish her the best of luck tonight, and I would love to be wrong, but I think she's just missing out. But Forza Portugal! Uh, Ukraine is up next. I know if Ukraine won that there's a certain amount of Eurovision fans wouldn't be that happy to go back to Kiev, but I have to say I would love to be their guest next year. I think Gaetana has got everything. She's big on stage, big personality, big song. Really looking forward to this one. Bulgaria next. Now it's not often you see Salmon PVC, but you're going to see it tonight, um, viewers. And um, she has apparently pressed the pyrotechnic panic button. She's decided after two weeks of rehearsal, she wants to throw fireworks at the performance tonight. So I'm very keen to see it. But she's um, she'll be going home tomorrow. Bless. Uh, Slovenia is up after that. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed at what uh, Eva is wearing. She's just a very pretty girl. She's very young, but unfortunately, the, the, the dress with the sort of floral applique that they put her in, it's just, it's not very becoming, but it's quite an interesting performance. Very much shades of Molitva. It's by the same comp uh, composer, but yeah, the, you really hear the sort of the, the same influence there. I've got it in my top ten. I really like it. I'm agreed. Up next, another Balkan uh, nation, Croatia, and I think they're going to make it as well tonight, although the performance performance still looks a little bit messy, we're not quite sure um, how it's going to look tonight. I do actually like this song, unlike lots of people who seem to think it's the weaker of the uh, Balkan songs, but I think she's just going to um, go through on her name. We're wondering whether Croatia's got something with her dress as well, because there's, some, there's a sort of big bow at the back and it looks very, very incongruent. So we're just wondering if something's going to happen with that performance, we don't know yet. Mm. Um, Sweden, oh, the favourite, the yeah, favourite yeah. is up next. Sweden is absolutely up there for me, I love Lorraine, I loved her song last year. I think this is sailing through. There's a lot of talk about will she, won't she. And there's a lot of talk about Sweden being a bit arrogant. And I don't really feel that at all. I think they're getting a very unfair press there. Uh, and I, th I think that, that people are saying it's being overhyped. I don't agree. I think it's a cracking song. And I think this could be the winner of the whole thing. Let's hope she gets a late draw tonight. That's going to be so exciting, isn't it? OK, uh, Georgia next. Now, I'm just supposed to be a bit careful because he's here, actually, in the building. But I think I'm safe in saying that this is all kinds of wrong. Please, no, Georgia, go home. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> What's all you've got to say? Turkey, uh, Jan Bonomo, uh, um, he walks a very fine line between, between being quite engaging and being quite annoying. But thankfully for me, he is sticking on the, on the right side of it. I think this is quite charming. I like it. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I don't know. It's one of those that's difficult to call. It could be the second year that we don't see Turkey in the final, but it also could be... It could have quite easily go through as well. I'd be happy for it to go through. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a bad song performed quite well. Um, Estonia next is one of my favourite songs of the year. It's fantastic. There's a buzz around this. Some people are saying he's not engaging with the camera, but I think this is class, pure class, and I hope he's sailing to the final. Go is Oit Lepland, he's called, not Ot. Um, can I just plead the Fifth Amendment on Slovakia and move briefly on? <laughs> 
<laughs> There's really nothing to say. Uh, oh, I'll do Norway then instead. <laughs> Chuji, I'm looking forward to seeing Chuji pull his hook back, uh, and I think this is the big, big song. I think it's sending through. It's got a cracking draw. I, everybody's saying it's like Eric Sade last year. I think he's better than Eric Sade, and I think the song is better. But I still don't think he's going to do anywhere near it as, as, as well as Eric did, because there are just too many good songs mm. around him. So, so yeah, Norway's setting through, but I think going to be middling in the final. Bosnia, now um, all our 53 viewers will know that this is my favourite song this year, but I'm very disappointed the way it's been staged. Um, I'm not liking the dress, I'm not liking um, the arrangement of it, um, so I'm very disappointed, but I think it will still scrape in um, because it's a nice ballad. And um, yeah, Bosnia. And uh, Lithuania closing the show. Um, it's just so many different things to say about it. Um, it starts, uh, it, it seems to end up as a different tune to how it starts. And there's that bit in the middle where he takes the blindfold off as if he suddenly recovered from laser eye surgery and does a cartwheel. And it's just, I, 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 it's too much going on for me. I don't like it, but people are calling it as a surprise qualifier because, of course, Lithuania surprised everybody last year by qualifying uh, with that terrible dirge of a song. I haven't got it in my top 10, but who knows? Okay, so that's it, our little semi final two roundup. Wherever you're watching it, enjoy it, and when those envelopes get pulled out, it's going to be so exciting later, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Ciao. Bye. Bye.